Welcome to our video series introducing Adobe Dreamweaver. In this video, we'll introduce Dreamweaver CS3. Okay, here's Dreamweaver CS3, and chances are it will look just like this when you open it up for the first time. First of all, you notice that it's quite similar to the version of Dreamweaver I used in the first video, Dreamweaver MX2004. And there's this area here, which contains lots of further information. CSS, Application, Tag Inspector, and so on, if you want to access those. And we can choose to tuck that away just by clicking here. And there's the Properties box as well, here, and that can be tucked away as well by clicking on the down arrow. Of course, we can open it up at any time just by clicking on the up arrow, but let's keep it tucked away for now. There are also toolbars here, and different options you can bring up. Layout, Forms, Data, and so on. But if we just click on the Insert Text, it tucks it away for now. We can click Insert again to bring it back, or click again to get rid of it for now. You have this introduction screen, and obviously it's entirely up to you whether you choose to keep it. To keep it showing every time you open Dreamweaver, but you can choose to tick Don't Show Again, and let's OK that. OK, with all those areas of the screen tucked away and the insert screen turned off, this is how it looks when you open up Dreamweaver CS3. So let's start using it. First of all, File, New. And as you can see, in the New Document screen, you have a lot of options to choose among. You can simply go with the very basic blank page HTML and no layout, or you can choose from all of these. One column, elastic, centered, and it gives you a preview of the structure. And one column width in EMS, so it scales with font size. And also doc type and layout CSS. First of all, let's go back to page type HTML, layout none. You see here it asks you for doc type. And there are a number of options. And going with XHTML 1.0 transitional should be fine. So it's already asking you some quite advanced questions, which are related to specifics of different versions of HTML. So just going with the default should be fine. Then if you click on the Preferences button, there are some options there. Default document. Generally, I would say that HTML is fine, but you can click there and choose from any number of different types of documents if you're familiar with what they are. Default extension. .html is fine if you're dealing with HTML. Default document type. And those are the choices again. And for now, we've gone with this, XHTML 1.0 Transitional. Default encoding, that would be fine. And the rest is fine, so let's just OK that. So something as simple as setting up a new document can become quite complicated in the latest version of Dreamweaver, just because it presents so much flexibility regarding what you're creating. However, since we're starting with the basics, let's not get too bogged down with the features and functionality of HTML and CSS which are presented here. Let's just stick with the basic options. OK, but just before we click on the Create button, you can see all the different options, and it gives you a whole bunch of potential layouts. And a further option that you see becomes available here is Layout CSS. Add to head should be fine, 
And again, you don't need to get too involved with this at this stage. There's also Create New File and Link to Existing File, but Add to Head should be fine for now. And OK, Further Options. One Column Fixed, Centered, Header and Footer, and so on. And there are also further page types here. But many of these are currently empty, as you can see. OK, so blank page, page type HTML, layout none, doc type XHTML 1.0 transitional, and create. And here's our blank page. And just like in Dreamweaver MX, you can split views, and you can go to code view if you wish to look at and work solely with the code. And again, even a blank document requires around 10 lines of code. But that's all behind the scenes if you don't want to deal with that. So back to design view. And very quickly, see insert table. Just the same as before. And you can choose rows. Let's just go with one row, one column and table width in pixels or percent, let's go with 700 pixels. Border thickness, let's keep it as 1 this time. Cell padding, let's say 10, and OK. So all very similar. OK, and then we can bring up the Properties box and choose to align the table, because it's left aligned, you see. Choose to align it in the center. Again, we can go to Modify Page Properties and make changes there. For example, make default font Arial, default size 14, default text color black, default background color white, and let's OK that. So it's very similar and very straightforward, just as before. OK, this has been a quick introduction to what is, as I record this, the very latest version of Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver CS3. And you can see that it's very similar and identical in many areas to Dreamweaver MX2004. So not a huge amount of difference there. So whichever version of Dreamweaver you're using, you should be able to translate what you see here to your version. So in the next video, we'll start diving even deeper into the Dreamweaver interface and the functions it offers.